almost discrediting their work. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Well, as the dust settles for the New Orleans Saints on this season, yes, a lot of disappointment for the second year in a row. But, you know, 13-3, and three, number one seed for the first time since 09. Now, they did suffer the first home playoff loss under Breeze and Peyton after six wins, but a lot to be proud of this year for New Orleans. No doubt about it. I mean, that team jumped out right from the word go. Well, let me rephrase that. After a season opening disappointing loss to Tampa Bay, they ran off a heck of a street and established themselves as the team to beat in the NFC. The only concerns going forward, will they get everyone back healthy? Remember Sheldon Rankins, their exciting defensive tackle, got hurt in the playoffs. But the other part is, can they shake off the last two years of losses, get that out of their psyche? That crazy Minneapolis loss to the Vikings, and then the controversial non-call in the playoffs against the Rams this year. If they can put that behind them, they'll be a force again in 2019. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camaro. He'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. It's Breeze. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Duke Riley with a big-time sack on third down, and it'll be a loss of seven. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. 